and welcome back to Music Free Gaming. I hope you're having a fabulous day today, this very fine Tuesday. Um, hey, before I get into it, so I've been having some uh, buffering issue streams. It looks like I made some changes, which I thought would fix it, but it looks like I might still be seeing this again. So I'm going to keep an eye on it during the stream, uh, but... This is not cool. <laughs> it is not cool at all. So we'll keep an eye on it. Um, yeah, I did a couple of things. There were some, a couple of settings that apparently I was, like audio bitrate settings that I had a little off uh, for for YouTube on the streaming side. Hey, Snoopers, welcome in, welcome in. Um, so I changed that and I connected directly with ethernet instead of uh, Wi-Fi at least that's I think the idea here so and just to be on the safe side this okay yep yeah, Wi-Fi is off so I made this change hopefully this will clean up some of the disconnects and and buffering issues you were all seeing I'm, I'm not totally hopeful but <laughs> we'll We'll see how this goes. Otherwise, I don't know what the next step is, but yeah, so far so good. That's great. We shall see how it goes as the stream moves on. But that I have at least been doing something. I did manage to find a long ethernet cable. So that's it. Let's go ahead and get into the game and see how this works. Everything is going to go well, though I need to be sure I can see that, because that caused me some issues the other day. All right. Cool. And I can click on things. Yes, clicking on things. Turns out clicking on things is a talent I don't always have. Sorry. Um, I try to click, and, and often I fail. This is, this is a problem I have in life. Anyway, uh, let's maybe hit the right buttons. There we go. So, I did the traditional, I went mining off camera, except instead of mining, I went to the end, and now I have a, an elytra, so, yay, flying! Um, also, I, a handful of shulker boxes, so that's awesome. And it's going to be great, because it's going to help get up and down this tower as I get started on construction. And one of the first things I want to do is get the first floor in place... And maybe the second, because I want to get this window in, but I kind of need to see how it's going to interact with the floor and stuff. So, you know, all of the decorative nonsense. Oh, it's going to be so much decorative nonsense today. All right. So, let's see now. I have... Oh, I also have bee nests. <laughs> I should maybe find a better place for them, but... I think I, they don't really count as plants, but they grow on plants, so that kind of counts, right? Maybe. But I'm definitely going to be out chopping more trees today. Because that is definitely a thing that's going to have to happen. Ah, but, oh, hang on, I need to set my status... Now that I've done my intro, I am open for visitors. All right. Yeah, I had a weird moment over the weekend, right? I was sitting... Oh, cheese monkeys. I was sitting down Saturday because I needed to edit my second episode of Tinker World, which will be dropping on Friday, so yay. All right, so that was good. Got that done. Mostly, I mean, the video's done. I just have clips and stuff I've got to finish for socials and things. Come on. There we go. But I was starting to look at, um, oh, the next episode of Going Solo, which was the uh, dragon stuff that we did on uh, Saturday. Or, no, Nether Hub. Sorry, not the dragon. Something. So I was going to go look at the Nether Hub stuff. Which, you know, had all of the fun with the math and the I can't do math, right? And then I realized that I never uploaded the previous episode, which was the dragon. 
Yeah. Oh, the episode was edited. That part was all done. I just completely forgot to upload it. It's like, you know what? This is why I have a system that's supposed to help me remember these things. Turns out it doesn't work as well when I don't look at it. I know, it's weird, right? It's like, oh, look, stuff. Yeah, if I don't look at it, it doesn't remind me of much. It's sort of, sort of sad, actually. It's like, you think your tools would just read your mind and provide you with the information you need without having to look at it. But no, I actually have to open the app. Look at all of the to-do items you've given yourself. So it turns out, yeah, that's sort of important. All right, so what's my light level looking like? It's looking okay. Certainly have got enough light. Oh. Plink. Okay, mostly okay. Turns out it's just mostly okay. Cool, so this is sort of how this is going to go out this way. Turn those off. Um, I think I need to bring this floor out here just a touch more. And then I need to figure out what the heck is going to happen in here. <laughs> it's, all, it's only slightly bad. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's going to be interesting. But it's also going to be uh, a matter of chopping down some more oak trees, I think. I have... Oh, there is an oak tree buried in here. Okay. It seemed a little weird, but nope, it's there. Okay. Um, hang on, let me make sure I'm looking at the right tab here in Google. All right, or dropped frames. Oh, I just had a reconnect on my end. Oh, crud. So unfortunately, it looks like I still have something. Now it reconnected faster. But it could be my ISP, though it, it did just happen recently. It could also be my, um, my router's a little old, so it could be that too. So I'm going to have to, uh, I don't want to talk to them. Because you have to jump through all of the hoops. It's okay, reboot. And then testing this is a little bit of an issue. Though I do have another problem that I might be able to work with them on that. Because there is a problem with one of the, uh, with one of the uh, wireless radios in it. So the, the router's got two works on two bands, right? It's got the two, 2.4 gigahertz bands and it's got the 5.8 gigahertz bands. Well, the 5.8 radio has been disconnecting. So mobile devices haven't worked. That's one of the reasons I was thinking, oh, maybe I need to go and actually find an ethernet cable and connect to the router directly, right? And just use ethernet, which theoretically is better if you're streaming anyway. Well, yeah, I was I was hoping. So, oh yeah, maybe it's just the wireless. It's gotten me on the two four. That doesn't quite have the bandwidth that the five eight does. Yada yada yada. No, it just it's not great. Um, I'll have to look. It's not the most fully featured. Uh, it's not the most fully featured router on the planet. So. It's very possible I can, which would be great, but it's also possible I can't. So path from here down to the path. <laughs> it's like, hi, this is open. There's easy access from the path into the community farms. Um, you just have to pick your way through the mangrove trees and stuff. Ah, <sighs> so. Yeah, so that's definitely not cool. Yep, there goes the reconnect. And I don't know why. But that's that's definitely... And it's weird, because I'm not seeing dropped packets. I just see the reconnect. And YouTube... This is the, the weird part. YouTube hasn't been seeing the disconnect.
Ram was wondering if there could be a way through to the middle on that level. So, yeah, so there's a plan right down here on the ground floor. Or, um, not here. Down here. So you come in through on the ground floor. Right, and you meander over this way. And if you hang a left right through this tunnel. I came through here because I needed some stone. And down these stairs, you end up right to that staircase right there and connect right to this down to the floor level. So, so yes, it's there. It's not finished. It's not pretty. But it exists. And there's horse parking. Because, you know, I've got to have the horse parking. So yeah, just come right through here on the ground level and you can park your horse in any of these empty slots. See, just like uh, Black Pearl here, hanging out. Got some nice, lovely grass going. And and what's cool is the uh, AI mob pathfinding for a horse, they won't walk out of these. Because they see it as basically two full blocks instead of slabs. So they think, oh yeah, there's a... Yep, so 100% because of the slabs. Now you can easily get in here, right? I can hop on my horse, I can ride out, everything's great, ride back in, and we're done. So yeah, so we've got horse parking, though, you know, it's a question of whether or not the uh, anyone will actually still be on horses. Finish this uh, level off. Yep, so it's it's really convenient, actually. Go away. But yeah, so... Yeah, so if anyone wants to get in to the uh, community farms area, the first floor of my tower is the way to do it. I mean, there are other ways to do it, but... It's definitely a way to do it. Hey, Edge, welcome in. Glad to have you here. Oh, I forgot to post this in the... in the uh, Discord. Oh, well. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I have... Uh, failed in my streamerly duties, right? How dare I not publicize my stream? All right. So much floor here. Now, I'm not going to try to do all of the floors right now, but I want to get these first couple in uh, so that I can figure out what I want to do with the windows. Because that's going to be the challenge of the day. Okay. Actually, I'm going to take a look at some real quick. I just had a wild thought. Okay, I can't change that while I'm live. That makes sense. There's one other setting on YouTube that I might have been able to set, but it hurts the uh, stream latency just a little bit. So, I may play with it next. Ah, okay. I'm going to fall. That's cool. I guess I can be down here. Now I'm going to leave the scaffolding up there for a, mo for a little bit, at least until I get all the stairs in place. All right, floor. But yep, that was the idea though, was to uh, make that first floor sort of a nice little pass through for everybody because, you know, why not? I wanted it anyway, so I figured, hey, let's uh, let's just make it convenient for everybody. Now I do need to go down there and redo that first floor, but you know, clean it up, take out the grass, you know, all that fun stuff. All right. 
think got this now. Or something close to it. Now, and like so many things in life, this would be faster if I did it right the first time. But where's the fun in that? Hey, Jess, sneezing hurts, huh? That sucks. Definitely had those sorts of days. All right. Um, how do I do that over there? Uh, first floor. It looks like I came out. Block. All right. Consistency is definitely not something I have uh, going for me today. Yeah. I mean, the kind of what I want to do on the first floor, and I don't have it, have it fully thought out yet. Well, clean out the dirt. And then put in a night, uh, sort of a stone-ish path, some, maybe a combination of tough and andesite and something like that. Coming back this way. Back is hurting from sneezing too much. Yeah, that sucks. I get that every once in a while when I travel through Wyoming. Turns out, I think I'm allergic to Wyoming. I know, it's weird, but I think it's true. Okay. So, we've got ourselves... Uh, shovel? Yep, we've got ourselves a shovel. Okay. And let's still check the light levels. Yeah, should have this one in the middle. Cool. All right. And I probably do not need a torch right underneath the frog light. Yep, I had to hurry it out to the end. We, I was like, okay. I don't have Elytra. I need to hurry and hit the nearby cities before they get looted by people with wings. Ah. So that was fun. Got a handful of shulkers, got some Elytra. That was nice. Oh, I need... I need something. I'm going to get the some stone brick here. I don't think it's quite what I want, but it's going to... But it's going to give me at least something to aim at here. Okay. And yeah, I think I'm probably going to replace want to replace those blocks, but Oh hey. If I want to be consistent. Which again, consistency. Pshaw. Okay, it looks like I'm coming out to here. All right, that's all going to happen there. So, yeah, that's definitely not happy. Okay. So, yeah, so looking at this, heck, I might have to cut down those mangrove trees just so I can see what's going on. All right. Yeah, let's do that. I need to be able to see this, and those mangroves are definitely in the way. Awesome, but in the way. All right, so let's see. That can go away. Magical tools. Um, yeah. Got myself a nice silky hoe here. All right. Yeah, let's get this mangrove out of the way so I can see what I'm looking at here. Oh good, rain. Alright, that that one's gonna be a pain. That's alright. You know what I need to do too is uh I've 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 got some thoughts. I think there are a couple of little personal farms I wanna set up. And I may have to go hunt up somebody who's got some uh some allays. Because that's, that's going to make this, make some of them a little easier, I think. But And I know there are people with delays. Of course, I don't have any way of breeding them. Oh, you have delays. Nice. Nice. Snooper has delays. Wonderful. Now, do you have a... 
Oh, hang on. It's reconnecting. Man, that's... Okay, I gotta figure something out there, then. Yeah, I don't need it right now. Because I'm, I'm still kind of thinking what I, where I want to put it, actually. Uh, but I want to set up a, a couple of farms. I need a... I need a sugar farm, or a sugar cane farm, and I need, um, I think I want a wool farm. Now, the wool farm doesn't need a lays, but the uh, sugar cane, I think, would set up a little wheat farm. Right, I've got the manual farm over there, which is great. But, it, 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 no, it's not great. It's a, it's a thing of wheat that I never remember to harvest. Okay, and it's just, it's just painful. Now, I don't use, I don't really need wheat for food, but I am thinking, one, I, of maybe a little wool farm, and two, I'm, there's also, there's a jukebox and things. Awesome. Yeah, I found a geode right underneath the community farm area, which was hyper convenient. You know, it's dark. Let's go do something about the darkness. Um, but, yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of thinking, because I've got another project that I'm thinking I might, I might do, because one of the things I want to set up here, probably in this le level and the level above, is I think I want to set up a sorting system. And to do that, I am going to need a lot of redstone. Also, I know we have a gold farm. I don't know if we have a bartering farm. Though I do know there's a little guy we can barter. The... Some central portal in the nether hub. Okay. Yeah, there it is. YouTube saw that one. Fudge. Fudge, fudge. This is... Ah, cheese monkeys! That's almost as annoying as falling off the... Okay. No, oh, we're good. We're good. Safe. Fine. Man, that sucks. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to talk to my ISP, too. So now it's possible it was OBS, and, it, and it's possible I've been having this problem for longer than um, Thursday when I did the update. Because I wasn't watching it as closely then. Yeah, and so it reconnects and then... Hmm. Yeah, because there are a couple of things that's like, all right, I'll... There's a couple of frames I'm missing for from rendering lag and things like that. Okay. Dropped a couple. And literally, it's like dropped four out of 71,000. It's like, okay, I can deal with that. But why is it, why is it disconnecting from YouTube? And yeah, it's, you could be right, Snoopers. It could 100% be my router, something like that. So, so I got to call spec, whoa. Okay, that wasn't great. Anyway, so I get to call Spectrum and see what we can do about my ISP about my my router why it's failing and what's up with my connection and things like that so and the connection is solid I do a speed test and it always comes back pretty good but do I have um... oh right I set up a composter right here Perfect. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and throw all of those in there. All right. Let's go get the rest of this. I'll replant those mangroves, but I'll do it elsewhere because I just need the space. Yeah, I just need to be able to see this front entranceway, and I can't do it if the with these mangrove trees here. No, stop. Okay. No, no, it's perfectly fine. Just 
just climb. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of thinking of maybe building a raid farm. I think we talked about that at one point last week or the week before. Is, uh, yeah, raid farm goodness. Uh, because I said I'm going to need a lot of redstone, and I could mine for it. That's always an option. But, you know, where's the fun in that? So, but setting up a raid farm for, uh, for easy redstone would be kind of nice. And, oh, yeah, things that some other people might like, like totems of undying or... I don't know, whatever else you can get out of a raid farm. I guess you can get emeralds from a raid farm, but... We have a fairly reasonable emeralds generation back at the... Uh, oh, back at the community village area. So that's not a huge issue, but... I suppose it would be kind of nice. Ow. All right. Come on. Let's finish carving this. Sorry, I wasn't thinking about needing to clear these trees out when I f was looking at this project, so. I did go and harvest some oak. Obviously, it wasn't enough, but some just to... Uh, Get things going, but okay. Apparently, we're you know for the there's that eternal debate of you know do you use what sort what sort of blocks to use to scaffold? Do you use dirt? Do you use scaffold blocks? What do you do? There's an argument to be made. Dang, there it goes again. Because mangrove roof, roots are insta mine with uh, with an axe, so or especially an efficiency five axe. Okay. On the plus side, got some mangrove wood, which is great because it's so so pretty. Um. Hey JS, you've been around a while. How many of the streams you've been seeing, if you're... I'm sorry to call you out of lurk if you're lurking. How many of the streams have you been seeing that would have um, frequent uh, spinning wheel of death? Um, I'm going to keep some of these mangrove roots. Let's go drop them in here. All right. Stone, more stone. Yeah, I don't really have a moss. All right, well, for now. All right, well, for now, let's go ahead and just put it with the nether stuff. It's okay. And let's go plant a few more of these saplings, these propagules, out here where they can be, uh, where they can grow. Wow. Yep, plant them at an angle so they don't step on each other when they grow. All right. All right, now let's take a look here. So this is the main the main entrance here. Now, yep, that sucks. Oh, man. Like, when do I have time to call my ISP? Okay. That's a little bit better. Okay, so now... So this is the opening air angle. All right, so, I, yeah, I want to keep the angle. So let's do this. 
I don't know that that's going to be... Uh, actually, I'm almost certain that's going to be permanent. Hey, Thomas. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. Despite the uh, my ongoing connection issues, apparently. Oh, man. Yeah, I, and I think Snoopers is right. I'm going to have to call my ISP and figure out what's going on. Because, man, this sucks. But, anyway... That's a problem for future me. So, this is going to come out this way in something that's some form of path that's going to be relatively smooth in a minute, but I want to figure out what is going to happen with this uh, with this window and this arch. I mean, I call it an arch. I don't think it is an arch, or it's going to be an arch, but definitely need to figure out something. Also, I think I'm going to cover up a lot of this on the inside. Okay. But we've got all of this here. And it's like, okay, I need to put in something here. And what I might want to do is... Uh, I might want to just angle this all over and, and hope for the best. Because I, I said, I, I'm going to have to deal with floors. So, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and put the diagonals for each floor and just see what we come up with. Because I think that's going to... Okay, do I have stone? Yes. Okay. Do I have brick and do I have oak? These are the important questions one must ask oneself. Okay. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and break this out. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Move my blocks around. There we go. This said, I this tower is large. I'll probably, I think where the oak is, is probably going to stay, at least to some extent. See, that's the thing. It's not, it's not a bit rate issue. I'm because I'm only I'm streaming at. What do I have here? Hang on, I'm gonna pull up my settings. Cause my bit rate's actually fairly reasonable. Yeah, I'm I'm streaming at four thousand k kilobit per second, which uh, actually might be a little bit low for the uh, for where I'm streaming at, but I don't think. That's said, it kind of feels like this, well, no, I've been having some ongoing issues with my internet connection for a while too. So it could be that it just OBS, some, ouch, something changed. And when I did the update and now it's a little bit more sensitive to whatever is happening with my stream, right? And I definitely know there's something funky because... My family and I, we do, um, every Sunday, we get together on Discord, since we're all sort of, you know, whether at college or just because they're adults and they're elsewhere in the country. And, you know, we try playing, like, some of the Discord games, and they disconnect frequently for us. So I think there's actually something else going on. And I just hadn't noticed it or noticed how it affected my stream until um, until today. So Comcast connection has been 100 megabit more often than... Yeah, right. See, mine... Anytime I do the... Um, come on, you can do it. You can do it. So anytime mine, I do a speed test bouncing off of a couple of different test sites, I'm getting the bandwidth I'm paying for, okay? It's not a crazy amount of bandwidth, but it's definitely what I should be getting. And it's definitely enough to be doing this. It's more than enough to be streaming at the bit rates I'm streaming at. So that's not an issue, but I think what's what I'm seeing is 
frequent disconnects and my router has it's been having issues with one of the wireless bands with the the 5.8 band like i can't can't keep a connection on it like my, my i think my daughter is home she's been having issues connecting to that on her chromebook the 241 is working fine which said so makes me think it's one radio is going out, something like that. Okay, stone brick is easy. I'm just about out of oak. Okay, fortunately I've got more oak trees, so that should be okay. And then we'll do, handle the rest of this. Yeah, and I said, I think, and this router is, it is kind of old. So it wouldn't surprise me if it were hitting the edge of end of its uh, operational life, but I don't know. Said so I'll I'll talk to to Spectrum and see. I can't af afford to go buy one on my own, and so got to uh, hope Spectrum is seeing something that maybe we'll uh, say, uh, say. Yep, okay, yep. We definitely need to replace something. But given what I'm seeing on my, on the wireless side, it's almost certainly the uh, router and not the the modem. I hate hardware. I hate troubleshooting hardware. It's just, at least with software, I can if I've got the code. At least you know I can, I can look at the code and I can say, oh yeah, this is what's broken. Just stay updated for a new to a mo new modem. Right. Yeah, instead I've got... Oh, that did not drop as many saplings as I was hoping. Dropped enough, I think, but not as many as I was hoping. Nope, it did not drop enough. Okay. All right, so I'll have to plant them further apart to deal with the... all of the leafy goodness. But yeah, we'll sit down. We'll play some of the some of the games on Discord, like Bobble League or or whatever. And yeah, it's it'll disconnect for everyone in in uh, in the house here. But none of our our kids will see the disconnect. Those that are you know remote. And so yeah, it's I think it's something on our end. I've been putting it off because I hate dealing with tech support. You now it's not like I'm not tech tech savvy myself, but you know, I also did did tech support for an ISP, so I kind of understand some of what's going on there. Of course, when I was doing tech support for an ISP, uh, we were still dealing with dial-up, so. Duh amount of salt on your expectations. All right. Hey, let's hear it for wings. All right, cool. So that's going to be, that's gonna be that. Obviously something should happen up top as well, but we'll worry about this for the moment. So, what to do? All right, I'm gonna do this on this level, but might be good is to clean out my inventory. <laughs> let's let's clean out the inventory and then see what we can do for uh, some resources here. Throw that in there. Oh, maybe I. I don't know. Let's hang on to some of those leafy greens. I'm. Excuse me. I think I have a. Uh, I think I may want to deal with some of that. All right. What I'm also not looking forward to is the potential of having to up, yeah, just deal with updates and stuff. Oh, man. Oh, no, I wanted the cherry. Or no, that's mangrove. I don't want mangrove, I want cherry. 
I know what blocks I'm looking at. Totally, totally know what blocks I'm looking at. All right, and let's pull out plants. I have some sunflowers here. Let's get some sunflowers. Because I think what I want to do here is get some yellow glass. Okay. Sure. All right, so... Put one of those back. I think I've got some glass here. Yep. I picked up a bunch of glass because for, for XP when I was uh, setting up my... Uh, getting all my tools and stuff enchanted. All right. So let's grab... Let's try this again. Grab some of those. And I want to try some yellow glass. Perfect. And... Some of the cherry logs, I think. So I've got sort of this color theme going, right? I've got the cherry, I've got the yellow frog lights, I've got bamboo, right? So, I've, so there's lots of yellow and pink and stuff going on here. So I think what I want to do is let's try this. Okay, we're going to bring this down this way and... No. I'm trying to think how much of this view I want to block. Okay. Now, I think that's going to be good. And let's bring in this yellow. Make sure silk touch. Yeah. We're going to... Uh, I think this is going to work. It's going to be a little funky here, but... And honestly, it's going to be a little boring, so... That's okay. That's okay. Not fabulous, but it's a good start. So let's get over here, and I want to get some bamboo logs. Or actually, blocks. I want to get some bamboo planks. And let's get some fences. Let's make some bamboo fences. All right. Hey, White Top, how's it going? Hey, how are you? I was looking for you. Yeah, here this I be. This place is getting pretty amazing. Oh, thank you. It's big. It, it is. <laughs> it's a lot bigger than I was <laughs> expecting. And it's like, <laughs> now I look at it, and it's like, huh, okay. No, it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking good from afar, though, like just flying. It's cool. And some of the. Definitely got some help. Um, Fonda's gave me some a little bit of help with some of the details, and now I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the this this angle here, right? Because I've mm, so yeah, yeah yeah yeah. So if you come down here, I'm getting a little bit of some cherry logs, some yellow glass. Okay. Which is fine. I think what I'm going to do, though, is do something like this. Is take some some bamboo uh, fences mm -hmm. and bring them Looks a little... pretty good from the outside as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do this on the outside as well, but at least here I can see what the oh, color okay, looks like. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Maybe tie in some more of the uh, polished tough blocks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, the other thing I'm, I might do, and I'm going to have to see what it looks like, but I may take some glass panes around the outside mm -hmm. and just run a little bit there, too, just to break up the the pattern a little bit because it's that funky angle. Yeah. But I don't know. It's something I'm going to have what to What about with. using maybe a mix of different color glasses as well? Mm -hmm. Like yes. maybe putting in some lime green or this is yellow, right? That is yeah. yellow. Yeah. And it's yeah. so maybe adding in some lime green or something like that, just kind of like Yeah. Break it up a little. Some lime green or maybe some pink. Because yeah. Yeah. the the colors I've got I've got going for me right now. I've I've got the grays. I've got the right mm -hmm. all of the all of the cherry blocks. So I've got the pink, I've got the purple of the logs. And then yeah, I've got, I really like the purple. Oh, yeah, it works out nicely. 
And then I've got all the bamboo trap doors and things around the outside. Those are sort of the colors I've got. And it's the, so the question is, do I want to add additional colors um, or kind of just work within that palette? Yeah. And so right for the moment, I'm kind of wanting to stay within the palette. But. Oh, I like the buttons on the outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was. So you did the pink buttons on the on the on the wood. Mm hmm. And that was that was Fonda's um, trap door or some buttons on there, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a it's a nice touch. So yeah, as you go around, as you fly around it or just go by, it's like, ooh, this this tower is mm -hmm. actually looking nice. Yeah. Oh, cat! <laughs> Sorry, look behind me. There's a cat. Oh, I don't have that one. Well, it's trapped here, except for the staircase, so. <laughs> grab On a, it. <laughs> grab a boat. I had one trapped in a boat elsewhere, but it's. Where'd it go? It was. Go? Oh, I think. Oh, I see where he is. <laughs> He's back behind this wall. Oh, there it is. So, yeah, he's in the corner now. right here oh hi <laughs> nope this this cat is definitely just going to uh, be all over the place got it kitty's got a new home yeah I've been saving tinkers kitties too <laughs> well with the uh, the iron farm down here we've got all those villagers and so i know right cats so there's are... literally villages so the cats are just like i'm gonna spawn they are everywhere yes <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. um do i have oh that's a question do i have pink dye i do not okay you can't turn the uh pink dye pink... oh you can turn the pink petals into pink dye Yes, you can. Sweetness. All right. Well, that makes that easy. Let's, um... You have tons of pink dye, then. Oh, yeah. I'm good. Yeah. I'm just bone meal <laughs> the snot out of that. Mm-hmm. So let's take... Ah, uh, this is going to be fun. And thin glass panes. And let's try this. And let's just run some pink panes. I might do a little bit of... Is that... Okay. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah. It makes like a, an effect. Kind of. from the outside, you kind of can't tell. Right. And I'm kind of... But from the inside... Oh, that looks so cool. I might do it on the outside, too. The question is, do I want to run it down here as well? I think I do, just to finish the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, just to finish that. And I'll probably... That looks so cool. Oh, yeah, that is sweet. Let's swing around and hit it on the other side, and let's just take it take again. Uh, scaffolding. I know I have it. Okay. I have a bamboo farm. I definitely have scaffolding. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna run this up this way. That's probably gonna go up further. Okay. All right, I think this is going to work out nicely here. A brick that's sitting right underneath the all of that glass for I don't know what but something oops ah eh, well close enough I can reach it all right let's hop down and take a look what this looks like that looks neat all right all right I think I think this is cool I dub the legit
All right, let's uh, see what other fun things I can do with this. I think what I want to do maybe is take some polished tough mm -hmm. and top those bamboo stacks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, do I have polished tough? Yes, I do. Cool beans. You know what? I am not needing my bow right now. Okay. Yeah, because if I come in here with some polished tough, right here on the, as it edges the side of the building. Yeah. But you take the tough. Mm, maybe not. I mean, I can, but I think I'd have, to, I'd want to angle across like this. Yeah, I agree. And let's do that down here as well. Oh yes, th this is awesome. Oops. It's it's just at that height where you have to jump to reach it, and yep. then it's unfortunately I'm targeting the pain, and so it's a really small target. There we go. Yeah, man. That Th looks pretty cool. That is. Definitely awesome. That's the way to go. And it gives that, you're right, it gives a really weird effect, too, especially when you've, yes. you've got the connected textures on. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, that is, that is cool. I'm going to turn my shaders on and see what that does. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice. I don't have a, I don't have a shader pack set up in this profile, so. To uh, take your word for it. <laughs> That's a neat effect. Like, gosh. Yeah, because it's... All right. Well, it's like as we go taller. All right, so let's see. Cherry logs. Ooh, I may have to cut down some more cherry trees. Uh, hey, I got you. <laughs> oh, shiny. Okay. Send you. I'm gonna put a screenshot in Discord. All right, cool. Shaders on it. Yeah. All right. It's not like I don't have the trees here. I just need to cut them down. I've got. I've got. I've got plenty from when I chopped top. Uh, okay. <laughs> Photo share. Okay. Go in the multi MCs. Screenshots. All right. Might have more. Nah, I've got mangrove. I don't have. Okay. All right. Um. I brought back and we'll grab you some cherry logs. Shiny. Oh, no, I was just about to ask Evan if you still need a knight, but cool. All right, well, let's uh, hop down here. The problem with having a silk touch hoe is that uh, now I collect all the leaves. On the plus side, I... It was such a wonderful discovery when I realized that you can use the cherry blossoms as uh, as flowers for bee nests or beehives. That was that was such a nice discovery. It's like you can use a uh, flowering azalea for it too, which is you know, pink is not my favorite color in the world. It's not that I dislike it; it's just not my favorite color. I have been building with a lot of pink lately. Alright. Oh, jeez. Inventory management is a thing that we don't get. Okay. Where are you going with these logs at, Pearl? Um... Actually, here, let me just throw some stuff here in the uh, recycle, and then I can take them. Um, or there's, I've got a wood section, 
chest or barrel all the way over here by the stone cutter. You can throw them in there. Okay. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Grab a little bit more. Cool. Yeah, because I think... I think this is going to look really good once it goes all the way up the tower. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm also going to plan ahead because that's a thing I sometimes do. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That going down that way. I mean, I knew I wanted to build with bamboo. That's why I built the bamboo farm. But... Yeah, yeah. Okay, and glass. I was not expecting me to be building with cherry. Okay. Well, luckily around here, cherry is definitely um, very abundant. <laughs> I was gonna say we're we're on a cherry mountain, so. Yeah. Ack. All right, let's hear it for Silk Touch. All right. And, oh, need to paint up a few more. So this is my build process. I just walk back and back and back. Thank you, Thomas. I'm mm -hmm. glad you like it. Yeah. Oops. I think it's, I think it's definitely looking nice. Oh, my eye is itching. It's definitely, and it's weird, <laughs> but I'll take it, you know. I like weird. Weird is cool. <laughs> and now our... Okay. Oh, that is going to be awesome. Going all the way up. Oh, that is going to be so nice. Yeah, and this this is great. We're taking the uh the glass, the yellow glass blocks and the pink panes with the bamboo and the tough blocks. Tower. All right. Cool. We have a plan. <laughs> I love so it. What, are, what is your plans for the bottom part down there? So is that going to be like an entryway or something? Or? Yes. Yes. So the plan okay. is that's going to be in the main entrance. And mm -hmm. it's uh, come on down. The plan is to make this um, or a community farming area. Okay. So each of these rectangles around the outside, those that's horse parking. That's a horse parking. Yeah, I knew that. I've seen that. That looked right? amazing. Yeah. And then I've got a path that goes this way, this tunnel that mm -hmm. connects. I think it was Snoopers that yeah. uh, connected over. There's the path from up on the top. Yeah, yeah. Right? It says that down around the other side so okay so yeah so you come through the tunnel and then chunkity 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 down the the fat staircase here <laughs> right and that's that's the path right that connects up to the platform mm -hmm. right up there and then just back the other way yeah. is the staircase down okay. so so it nice. yeah so all in all, it ends up being easy access for anybody coming in from the path level. Right. And it's not like my tower is hard to miss. So right. it should be. Right. You just follow the natural curve of the cave. Yeah, that makes sense, Snoopers. So. Yeah, and I just decided rather than coming down this way, I would cut in through the and connect to what was already there mm -hmm. so that it was because I wanted to be able to come up and connect to that staircase up to the uh, shopping district. But also I wanted to leave this area empty so that there was room to put in a farm or two if uh, right. we needed to. Yeah, even you can't miss it, Thomas. Yeah, I get it. This tower definitely ended up bigger than I was expecting, but I'm down. <laughs> we'll make it work 
so yeah, obviously this area needs to be cleaned up and and beautificated, but project here. I mean, just <laughs> one thing at a time. Yep. <laughs> yep. But I figured, hey, let's get the the tower in place first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think what I'll do here is let's get it's gonna narrow the entrance just a little bit. But that'll be fine. Just come on. Come on down. Yeah, because it's it's still plenty big enough to uh ride. Um and I might even just take a little bit of glass. Bring it down a couple of blocks. Just like that. Mm-hmm. Um and then obviously they'll some landscaping of some sort will need to happen to uh, connect it down to the path down there. Yeah, we can even do a, do the move the path, you know, come make bring it up here too. So I mean, it's, mm -hmm. that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, there are definitely options, but I'm I'm kind of liking how this is going. So yeah, so that that was the idea. I figured since I'm here, and I'm doing this. Let me go ahead and just turn the first floor into parking and yep yeah you know, whatever else may come through here but i also need to get a hand a uh, handful of um sweetberry bushes because mm. i think what i want to do is do the carpet over berry bushes trick across the front here to keep uh mobs from wandering in oh okay but I don't know if we've – there's a spruce forest around if anybody's got some, but. I don't even know if I've got any, honestly. Yeah, yeah it's – I tend to uh, – I prefer building in taiga biomes and spruce biomes and things like that. Snoopers does. Why of course Snoopers not? does. So <laughs> Snoopers has everything. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. So, yeah, because hostile mobs, actually any mobs, they they were kind of refused to walk over. Um, See, I always did um, a, dig a too deep hole, and then you put a torch on the wall of that hole, carpet on top, and then right. they will not walk over that carpet. Yeah. I've, I've had issues with other things, but a fully mature sweetberry bush, the mobs won't touch. Mm -hmm. Really? Interesting. Yep. You could also use it for horse parking because horses won't walk over it either. So it's huh. really handy for that. If you if you want to have like a horse paddock that's not exactly fenced in, you could yeah. do it. You just take like moss carpet or something over a square or whatever of sweet berries and your horse will stay put. Interesting. Okay. I'm gonna have to try that. That's neat. Oh yeah, it's it's all sorts of cool. The catch is, and I think Green ran into this. I think it's a bug. Videos, or maybe it was while somebody was streaming. It was while Impulse was streaming. So he had the carpet mm -hmm. that he was trying to keep his horse in with, but the horse kept walking over it. Mm -hmm. There was a trap door over the carpet, which changed the pathfinding. Really? Yeah, it was weird as heck. Huh. So. Wave to Cora. All right. So, yeah, so we'll get this glass in place here. And. Oh, this is. Yeah, this is looking really nice. All right, cool. <laughs> nice, and yes, and I have to go. <laughs> that you do, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> sure, I'll build it here to the top of the mountain. It'll be fine. That's not going to be too big. No, it'll yeah, be wonderful. It's be great, it's yeah. Quick and easy. No big deal. <laughs> <sighs> The pink paints are working way better than the solid ones. Yeah, well, I like 
I like the panes and the, yeah, I've got something with the connected textures, whatever, whatever I've got hooking up, there's a little bit of a visual glitch to them, but, uh, but yeah, they're, ah, oh, that's going to be nice. Okay. No, nope, we could do this. I could do this. There we go. Cool. So now, yep, just top that off like this. All right. Cool. Well, <laughs> we have a plan. All right. I guess I should finish off down here, too, while I'm thinking about it. And I suppose the bamboo fence here is also nice if anybody has uh, wants to tie something else up to it, I guess. Right, right. Congratulations, you brought your cat, but it's uh, the cats won't stay in those those little uh, areas. So, well, I suppose you can make them sit, but you know. Of course. Come on. All right, well, I'm going to get back to my face, Pearl. Just coming to see what you were up sounds to. Sounds good. Sounds good. Come see, because it's been looking amazing, and I just wanted to come check in and see what was going on. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it has been... I'm not a, a builder, typically, but this is looking... Mm -hmm. This this is looking really nice. I'm really happy with how this yeah. is turning out. Definitely, Facts. definitely. Two, three, four... I've got some room. I think I'm going to take some slabs across the bottom here, too, just to something. Cause, just because this kind of feels like it needs a little bit of support here. But Yeah. But, yeah. Play All with right. it I'm going to head back to my base. You awesome. Have fun build oh, yeah. This is... Wow. Okay. No, I'm... <laughs> It's times like this where I, I build something and it's like, this actually looks really amazing and I'm not entirely sure I'm the one who built it, but I I have video evidence that I was, so we'll go with it. <laughs> ah. Okay. Yep. Unfortunately, it does take a little while to build, but it's huge, and it's just unfortunately going to be huge. I think it was Fondus who was asking me the other day, is like, do you have enough glass? It's like, oh, sure, I've got plenty. Now I'm kind of falling off the tower. <laughs> no, I'm kind of questioning that. I may have to go hit up the uh, villagers and buy some more glass. But... Oh, that is such a cool effect with the pain so all right let's get this come on i can do it i can jump on things okay i and i don't have enough paints okay no that's fine that's fine I said half my building is just running back and forth to to storage so Given that I'm not, I mean, obviously, all of you out there can see I'm not using like Matica for this, right? I'm not, I had zero plans for how this was going to work. So <laughs> it's not like I could plan ahead. It's like, oh, yeah, we'll just do all of this stuff, right? Uh, glass. Cool. Okay, so we'll get some of that. And I'm going to have to get some more yellow as well, but it's... come on. Yeah, we'll just grab a stack of that. And let's see. Glass, 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 glass. I don't know why the A-team would be doing glass, but you can't even see the ghost images in Lightmatica. I get that. I mean, you can turn up the transparency and stuff like that so it's easier to see, but... Uh, but yeah, it's like, all right. Now, I do need to... Actually, I need to get Lightmatic installed on this profile. 
Uh, not because I want to be using it for design stuff, but because I'm going to be building a sorting system the, on that level right down there and maybe bulk storage up above. So I'm going to have some uh, interesting issues there, but I need to uh, figure that out. Complex redstone, it's like, I've done the whole, all right, back and forth between two different worlds. Let's make sure how this works. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, I should have done the outside. Oh, I did do the outside. Okay, never mind. We're good. So, you know, it's like I'll just I'll just take the take the schematic and we'll we'll work on the schematic and all of that goodness. Okay. Yep, I will even remember to do all of the sides, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, this is Oh, that is such a weird effect, but I I like it. I like what it's what it's doing. I wonder. I want to take a quick moment. I want to check my settings real quick, just to see if there's. Because I thought I remember seeing seeing a connected textures, custom block layers. Yeah, no, that's right. Let's just turn that off for a minute. And yeah, even without the connected textures, it's kind of okay, but all right. Continuity, turn those back on. And I thought I remember seeing something in, was it the sodium settings? Options video. Um, I thought I remember seeing a setting that did some something with the connected textures, but maybe I'm misremembering misrem things. It would not face, uh, it would not surprise me. Um, okay. So I think we're okay. Yeah, I might play with it some more, but hey, this is looking okay. I'm. Oh, I'm happy with how this is going to work. Let's get some more tough, 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 tough. That's it, huh? I do have some polished tough slabs, though. That's a good thing. All right. I do know where there's some more tough, so I can head back down into the mines if I, if I need to. But let's take these slabs. And I want to, I want to run them under here. Oops, looks like I missed some of the glass. Cool. All right, slabs. That's not a slab. Kind of looks like a slab if you close your eyes and imagine real hard. Let's see, do I want to? I'm gonna go ahead and try this, but I don't think I like it. Yeah, I, it's not bad for the glass, but I really just don't like the look. I want to be able to see that glass from down here, so we'll go with that. Ooh. Sorry, let's just zip back and... Yeah, okay. That is definitely okay. Yeah, I want to do something down there, too, but... Oh, sweet. All right, so... Up again for another couple of levels. Um, how am I doing on... Let's grab a little bit more cherry wood before we go up. And once again, thanks to White Top for bringing... Yeah, uh, bringing a couple of stacks here. <laughs> Three or four or eight or something like that. All right. Oh, this is going to look so good. It does look good, but the, the whole tower, as it gets all the way up to the top, is going to just look really nice. Yeah, so I, 
I don't know what I want to do with these stone brick blocks if I want to replace them with tough or if I want to do something else. But So for the moment, I'm going to leave them because I don't want to break the flow here. But if you're looking at that and thinking, yeah, that stone brick just seems wrong, I'm kind of with you. I just don't know what I want to do with it yet. So, so we're going to trust them, you know, See what, uh, see where inspiration takes me. Also, myself a little more room there. All right. Uh, bamboo. There's the bamboo. Okay. This is doing okay. And again, I want to apologize for the uh, the annoying so hopefully yeah hopefully I can get in touch with my oops no pink get in touch with my ISP and they'll have a they'll have a solution maybe all right I suppose it might be more efficient just to pillar all the way up with the cherry and, you know, who wants to be efficient, right? Okay, so this is all going to come this way. Fit it, fill that in here in a minute. I can kind of sort of peek around things. All right. Um, yep, bamboo's in place there. Nice. Once you sort of get into the rhythm of, of things like this, they tend to go fairly quick, but... Excuse me, but yeah, it's just uh, it's just a lot of blocks to place. One thing that might look good, and I don't know, <clears throat> something I'll I'll have to play with, but if I were to put tough blocks here with that oak and replace those uh, stone bricks with something like frog lights. Right, if I were to take some ochre frog lights, that might be cool. That might be cool. That might be. I'm not 100% sure, but it's. Oops, down here. But it would be uh, interesting to try. All right, so cap this off. Yeah, this definitely has an industrial vibe, which is okay. Uh, but it still has a little bit of a whimsical feel to it, too, which I kind of like. All right, because we've got all of the, the sort of, these sort of decorated walls and stuff. It's, so it's not like it's a brutalist thing, but it's not, you know hyper ornate or something right it's not like we're diving into some flavor of uh, cottage core or something yeah the frog frog lights are back in stock yeah <laughs> yeah no that would absolutely look good also um ah cheese monkeys while i'm thinking about it thomas i uh you let me uh now let's try getting up there you let me a few frog lights when I first got started with this. I have returned them. So, default base. Okay. All right. We'll walk. We'll go up. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I know which floor I'm on. Okay. Cool. So, we'll get those back in place. And... All right. Let's get the... 
yellow glass in. But yeah, I think some some ochre frog lights. So when you look at it, it's still the the yellow, and it would just light up this this whole window, which I think would be a, a really nice look. I even have some ochre frog lights, so we can test that. Because I did buy out a bunch of those <laughs> when I was... Once I got some diamonds, you know, I, I spent a little time underground. I didn't get a lot of diamonds. I got maybe a stack. But it was definitely enough to start uh, buying frog lights. So, let's down this way. All right. Yeah, El, it very much has that stained glass look. Exactly. It's like... Oh, jeez, I'm burning through that like nothing. Um, all right, we'll get more. See with shaders and god rays, yeah. Well, said so I think, um, I think White Tops dropped a picture with shaders in the Discord. I haven't gone over there to look yet, but oh, it's so god rays. It's um, if you're working with uh, someone that does like ray tracing and stuff, what you'll get are the um. You actually see the light rays, so it's sort of like a you'll see a, a starburst at, for light sources, or like from the sun, you'll see um, it's almost like a lens flare, but then you'll get the the rays of of light that shine down. Yeah, kind of. It's it's hard to explain, uh, but it's very much like if you look at a if you look at like a J.J. Abrams movie where he's got all of the lens flare and stuff and his, what you'll often see is like a bright center where the, the lens flares or there's a a bright light and then you'll see the, the rays of light kind of shining off in one direction or another. It's that type of thing. And it's, it's an artifact. It's an artifact. It's a feature. It's a thing you can get with uh, ray tracing on some uh, some video cards. Of course, uh, Minecraft Java doesn't have ray tracing by default. Some sh shaders uh, fake it fairly well, though. All right, so how are we doing on the... Oh, I'm out of sticks. Cool. Sticks. Awesome. Okay, let's grab some some more bamboo here. Probably need more than that, but yeah. Oh yeah, JJ Abrams. That that's his stamp, man. That's what he does. <laughs> it's one of the reasons I, I don't particularly particularly like the style. There are some times where it's really cool, but yeah. We also get time accurate sun ang angle and stuff. Yes. Yeah, if you can get the uh, lighting. It's one of those things that uh, Bedrock does that Java doesn't is have um, dynamic lighting through color, right? You actually have colored lights and they shine colors. But, yep, I don't have... I said I don't have any uh, shaders installed on this profile, so... Is that one done? I think it's done. Chink, 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 chink. And coming around the other, back inside. Last, last. Okay, cool. I like, <laughs> maybe I should have just finished the floor first. Yeah, I've got, I've got all the mods I need. Right, I've got Iris installed so I can do the shaders. I just don't have any installed. Not that it's particularly hard. I just haven't done it.
Okay, yeah, I'll have to take a look and see. Um, yeah, I wonder. How, all right, hang on. We're going to take a, we're going to jump over here for a minute. Uh, we can edit this one. Shader packs, download shaders. Yes. Um, uh, I think both of those are good. We'll, we'll just download those. And I, they may, oops, they may not show up because I'm, I've got Minecraft running right now. So hang on, I'm going to disconnect and Okay, we'll close Minecraft for a minute. And let's, okay, try that again. Two shader packs. All right, we'll, we'll launch this again and see what we get. And yes, I use the Prism Launcher for keeping uh, my world separate. I know others like, um, it, this forked off of, originally it was Multi-MC and then Poly-MC and then Prism. And I like Prism because it makes a lot of things really, really easy. All right. Okay. Because now I'm curious. All right. Okay. I am open and streaming. Cool. I know, right? So long. All right. All right, so let's see. Let's, uh, so if we apply the BSL shaders here, this may take a moment. All right. Yeah, that, that looks really cool. Or if, um, <laughs> now that's sad. All right, let's try the complementary shaders. Apply. And these are just with the, the default settings. So I know BSL actually tends to look a little better if you tweak some things first. Okay. Wow. Those uh those clouds are funky, but oh yeah, they definitely make those definitely make those nicer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it it really looks nice with the oh, with with the shaders on. Oh, that is cool. And now we're back to the land of sadness. Okay. <laughs> Moving on because, you know, I like fr <laughs> Yeah. Ah, cheese monkeys. All right. Okay. Gravity works. Gravity works. Yep. Big fan of gravity. Uh, I try to use it every day. And uh, sometimes it it uh, enforces its will upon my person. And that then tends to hurt my to afford to have my ankles hurt by gravity. Just, no, no. I uh, really, really like my ankles to be pain-free. I know I'm weird like that, but it's true. To make me a cheese monkey emoji. Yeah. I have cheese monkey merch, but it's uh sadly, because I'm not in the YouTube partner program, I don't get my I've got them on Twitch. But I haven't streamed on Twitch in over a year, so not particularly useful. All right, progress is being made. Here we go. All right, and slap that down. So a little extra room to walk back here. All right, <laughs> cheese monkey, it's what's for dinner, yeah. Oh, speaking of cheese, because Obviously, cheese is awesome and amazing. Uh, we have a new Italian restaurant in town, Pasta Place. 
Very nice. They have a... Uh, my, my daughter ordered mac and cheese. Weird, but... Sure, no, mac and cheese, why not? This was some of the best mac and cheese. Aside from the fact that the macaroni was amazing and the cheese was also amazing, it was also covered in bacon and beef brisket. And, oh, so good. It was so good. Because nothing says deliciousness like taller these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And yeah, it was, it was good stuff. All right. So yeah, here, One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So it looks like, is that right? Yeah, no. That... All right, cool. I need to figure out where that, this top row goes on. Six. But yeah, it was it was uh pretty amazing. I've got to admit, it was now I just Yeah, that's right. Coming over the top like that. Alright. Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do to top off this tower. So for the moment we're, I'm just gonna run this across and hope for the best. But yeah, that was I was shocked. That was some pretty amazing macaroni and cheese. It's like, that's one of those, the few times where it's like, yes, I 100% will recommend this mac and cheese to somebody. Which is, it's one of those weird things. Like, oh yes, we're going to go to this restaurant. And they've got, you know, some excellent chicken parmigiana. They've got... Uh, Lasagna, their Italian meatballs were the bomb. Uh, but yeah, that mac and cheese, man. It's like, yep. I I can recommend. Ah, okay. Gravity. Gravity's the thing. Okay. Nope, that's fine. We'll be down here. It's okay. Yep. Oh, they had good stuff, man. I could because it was her first time there. The rest thought, okay, uh, you know, let's let's go ahead and try it. See what good stuff is there. And said, my daughter got the mac and cheese. Said, bacon and brisket. It was just amazing. I got the sampler with lasagna and fettuccine alfredo and chicken. Yeah, this is this is why I got my wings. Exactly. Uh, you know, I do have some brick. We're going to... Get that in place, just something else. And I think my wife ended up getting um, some ravioli, and all of it was amazing. And this restaurant said it's it's really new, and apparently had been nominated for a nationwide best restaurants in the world, or the world in the U.S. thing. It's like, yeah, I can I can see why, because wow, this was good stuff. Now, I don't know how often I would go to it, not because it was bad, just because I live in an area that has some really, really excellent Mexican food, and uh, I like me some Mexican. I got a place in town that has just amazing smothered burritos, and their green chili is just fabulous. And... Uh, and they put it on everything, and it is so good. They've got a... They make a chalupa, which is a uh, stuffed sopapilla. Ooh, man. So good. Okay. I'm gonna get off food. I keep keep talking about food, and man, it's like... It's, it's almost eight o'clock at night. I don't need to, I don't need food right now. I had dinner. I think what I'm going to do is let's go we'll get some, um, ochre frog lights and we'll test the lighting and stuff here. <laughs> you need to go order food now. Yeah. Okay.
Yeah, I need to do something at the top, but. Oh, that is cool. Yeah, let's get some lights on that. If I was, if I get some lights there, that is going to look really nice in the dark. All right, and I just happened to have bought out White Top's uh, frog light shop, so. <laughs> Keep saying ochre or frog lights. Yes, no, it's it's ochre. It's it's the ochre. We have ochre frog lights. They are the grains of ochre. Okay, sorry I've been watching too much Highlander lately, and uh, this is what happens to me. All right. <laughs> That was just so stupid. All right. So we'll get ourselves some frog lights in there. Look, I can be marginally efficient. I know, it's weird. Don't tell my wife, though, because then expectations will go up and uh, might end up having to do more. We can't have that now. That would be, that would just be weird and, and, Okay. Fortunately, you know, she's she's out working right now, so I don't have to worry about it. You can do a ceiling with uh, diorite slabs or quartz. Yeah, yeah. Something, right? And I'm not 100%. Nope, not that way. I want him to point up. Thank you. So, yeah, so we'll get this in. Now... The only concern I have about using um, something like diorite is it's a color I'm not, I'm not using in this build. Okay, and I am floor too high, cool. Yep, I need to get the floors in. That's spending like four hours cutting down oak trees and placing planks. But yeah, that, that's my, my only concern is if I start throwing in um, some uh, some diorite or something, it's said it's going to end up just bringing in a, a weird color. Oh, that doesn't look good at all. <laughs> all right. Cool beans. So let's go ahead and get this in place. Eat a carrot, perhaps. Yeah, see, I think this is gonna look yeah, from up here it's still looking sticking still looking good if you're down here on the ground. Yeah, you get the yellow. But I think that works better than like the stone brick that's there. Yeah, this is a good choice. All right, and go. Oh yeah, this is gonna be slick. Yeah, we'll take a look at this at at night and just see how it looks, but I think that's gonna really pop. And then yeah, what to do with the top? Um, okay, this side I didn't. I, no. Can I do this? Not really. All right, now I can. Turns out, hitting my head on things is not the way to get out of most holes. A helipad, yeah, that might not be a bad idea. I'm actually thinking because part of the reason I, I made it this tall is I wanted it to be sort of on the, on the level of the uh, shopping district, right? Place. Okay, got one more, but Right, because this is the shopping district right here. And so I wanted this to come up this way, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a bridge or walkway or something and maybe do a little terraforming so that I've got a walkway off the tower from the top level as well. So the helipad is not... All right, let's get back into something. Here we go. 
So yeah, it's okay. Go ahead and fly and land on it, you know. Of course, if you're already up there, you might as well just continue to fly to wherever it is you plan on going. Yeah, this is... All right, let's go ahead and... Let's see, I think it was the stone brick. Let's go ahead and replace that stone brick up here as well. And then, then we'll figure out what else is gonna gonna happen up here. But okay, all right. Oh, that's oh, this is gonna be great. Wings are good. Okay, yeah, I've got unbreaking on the wings, so we got it. You made the post office. Yeah, yeah. No, exactly. It's like, yeah, this could be, this could be good. Pick up that glass there. I need to. Get... <sighs> okay. Oh, this is this is cool. I think here. Let's um. What time is it? Real quick. Time's good. I'm gonna. Request no sleep for a minute. And, you know, maybe step into a campfire. Oh, this is looking... Look lights in here now above the... Uh, that whole stack of yellow glass. And that's... That's looking great. I was a little worried that it would sort of break up the glass, but no, that's actually looking really good. I'm going to take a look at this here at night here in a minute. But... Oh, I love what this looks like, and yeah, here, we'll go ahead and turn on some shaders, just because, just because, you know, and, oh yeah, this is, is just, oh, that is awesome, I love this, this is cool. Oh, man, yeah, thanks, Thomas, I am, oh, I am excited about this, man. I said, I don't... <laughs> I'm not a uh, decorator or designer typically, so when I build something that just looks fabulous, I'm <laughs> I'll take it, man. I still feel like the bottom here is a little a little funky. And I suppose I could go ahead and go ahead and put these slabs in, but it just feels a little wonky, you know. But maybe it's okay. Maybe it's okay. Let's go ahead and do it here, too. All right. Could make it arched. I could make it arched. I think... Boy, that's that just doesn't look good at all. I could make it arched. Let's see about bringing some of this down this way. I want to be sure that there's plenty of room as you're coming in. For, you know, horses and stuff, right? Got plenty of horse parking in here. So if you are just have it wide open. I thought about that too, but I, I kind of like having at least a little bit of the color. I could uh, just do it one block instead of two. That's a possibility. The other thing I could do is let's try this. So let's go ahead and close it just a little bit more. This might stable some of your animals. There's room for a little bit of guest parking. Not a huge amount, you know, and it only works for horses. Or probably camels. Camels will probably work too. I think this is going to be a little bit better. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and put the frog lights in too. Why not? Okay. Looks like night's falling, which is good. We'll get a chance to see what this looks like at night. Yep. I, yep. At least f for, a, for a few minutes. 
Okay. And yeah, I think I want to take, I mean, I kind of want something there, but that's, it's just a little, but that's, I'm not sure I like that. Okay. I, I could just put some trap doors there too, but all right, let's take a look at what this looks like in the dark as night is falling. And whew. all right, night is falling and oh, that is looking sweet. Oh, that looks, looks so good. Now, I mean, it's a little marred by looking in and seeing all the backside of grossness, but oh, that is beautiful. All right. All right. I'm sold. I love it. Okay. Okay. Sleepy can happen now. <laughs> Thanks. I had to look at my my stuff in the dark. Uh, I'm sorry. I just had to. <laughs> I think I might let's bring this glass down. Oh, now you're going to be up all night. I get it. I get it. Let's go ahead and just bring this down this way. Okay, again, it's a little bit narrower, but I like having the... <laughs> I like having that little bit of extra pink there. I think that's going to look good. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. That is very cool. I think what I do... I do want a little bit of something here to cap this... So let's get some bamboo trap doors, which will have that same sort of uh, yellow flavor to it. I just put some trap doors there. <laughs> oh, all the playing. Okay. Oops. There we go. All the prankage is happening, apparently. Nice. Oh, this is going to be... So, I think then what I'll do is I can kind of do something similar here. Definitely up at the top. Yeah, I think this is going to be good. But let's get these trap doors in just to... Uh... Yeah, see, that's looking a little bit better. It, it's not a lot. It's just enough to say, yep, the glass stops here without getting overly crazy, though. You know what I want? I want glass slabs. I suppose I could actually I could use um, trap pink. I could use the cherry trap doors instead. Let's try that. Also, let's try walking up the stairs. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, it's I. It definitely needed a little bit of something there because it, it kind of ended in just a weird, it just ended weird, you know, but a little bit, so the color wise, the tough was great, but that's even better. Yeah, that's even better. Putting in some, uh, some of the cherry trap doors instead of the bamboo. They don't stand out quite as much and it continues that pink theme across. That is, that is definitely the way to go. Wow. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like it. Yeah. It's going to be a little, yeah, so you'll be able to look in and, you know, you're flying around and see what's happening inside, but I'm okay with that. Yeah, and then just come up, and I'm I'm just going to take this uh, the staircase, and I'm going to run it all the way to the top. But yeah, I can just take the same approach. Yeah, all the way up. 
Sweet. And because this side, I haven't done any of any of the cross beams, I should just be able to stack jump this whole thing up. Go a little faster that way. Okay. All right. I can... I like where this is going. I'm a fan. Sorry, I just saw the movement through the hole there in the cave wall. It's like, yo, oh, wait, what's going on? Okay. So let's see, where did I put that? Right next to you? Okay, cool. Well, up and up and up we go. Oh, I should probably tear out that. <laughs> you don't need to be there, right? Sure. From all angles. <laughs> At least that's the, the hope and the dream. And it's hard. I have to, hang on. What level is that at? That is it. Y126. Okay. Six. One twenty six. All right. Yeah, it, it can be hard to uh, get a building that's this big, right, and just and make it look good. I think I've managed to pull something off because it can be real easy for it to get like super boring. Yeah, it isn't an angle. It isn't an angle, right? Yeah, you can either get super boring or super noisy. And that can be kind of hard to work with, so. So I think we've managed to, to build something here that's got some, it's got some texture. It's not just flat and boring and all that. But it also, it's just, it's got enough detail. Maybe that's what I'm, the, the phrase I'm going for, the adjective I'm going for. It has like, enough detail. And yet, obviously, there are some things that need to happen um, because I am going to be putting another floor, a roof, or something up here. Like I said, I'm going to pull a bridge out this way. I think if and when I build a shop for the shopping district, I'm just going to build it here in my tower. There's all the classic elements of a modern skyscraper. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. It very much fits that. Why do I have a crafting table? Ow. All right. All right. Ow. We'll just enjoy that pain. Um, so, yeah. Definite shout out to White Top for uh, providing me with this, the stuff I need here. Oh, somebody was there. All right, yeah, this is, oh, this is going to be good. So, yeah, but like I said, I'll, uh, if I put a, put a shop in the shopping district, I'll just put it in the top of my tower because it's in the shopping district, right? I just have to build the, all of the connective tissue to make it uh, connect to the hill. And I'm, so I'm not entirely sure. Some of that I could just do as a bridge. Some of it I might do as, um, Right, because I've you can see the uh, the hill comes right up to the tower here, so I could terraform some of this hill so it connects up a little bit more on this side, and just say, "Yep, th right, right here, that's an entrance to a shop." And yeah, why not? <laughs> Maybe not full department store type or something, but you know. Yeah, exactly. A little sky bridge of, of something, right? And that could be cool. So I'm going to use a couple of floors here for storage, but the rest of it, I don't know. <laughs> right? So if the, the first floor is, oh, geez, I'm out of, the fl first floor is, is guest parking, but the... The top couple of floors, you know, get the 
you know, someone wants to rent shop space there. Uh, yeah. It's like somewhere here, I've got a way up. Okay, that's that was down. That's like up, but in sort of the opposite direction, really. All right, where did I stop? Right about over there. Cool. All right, I mean, it's yeah, a working elevator. Yeah, that's that would be nice. A working elevator could be good too. Yeah, I've got a staircase. What, what more do you want, right? <laughs> no, there's, I've thought about that too. It wouldn't be too hard. I mean, it would be kind of hard because I'm going to be filling some of that hill with redstone for, uh, uh, for storage, right? As I said, right down, I think these these first two floors, right? So there's, I think that floor down there and this one. So I'm going to make storage. Oh, I was just doing a bubble vader. <laughs> Maybe a honey vader. That, that might work too. But, okay, I'm going to need a, Lots of bamboo, but let's let's go ahead and get some of the glass in place. And do I still have I still have frog lights? Perfect. Okay. I did put this all in the right place, right? Let's. Uh, yeah, that connects up to the wall. Snuggles in to the uh, that right. Cool, cool. This is oh, this is gonna look so nice. It's gonna look so nice. All right, just fill that stone in for the moment. Frog lights are so squishy. You step on them, it's like yeah, you're definitely a, a squish here, you know. All right, I'll have to dig in and get all of the other details in place, but let's just tower up and get this going. Well, it looks like we've got ourselves a party down there. Let's go. I'll get this uh, up top and let's go take a say hi to everybody. After I get this stack done. Hey, hello, hello. How's it going? Oh, you're in groups. Hi. Howdy. I hear. Yeah, I hear. <laughs> yeah, I hear that you be the man of cats. I I do have a cat. <laughs> there be a cat. I will... But I you... cats Are... cats be spawning here and they be all fluffy and cute. Yeah, fluffy and cute. Would you be willing to parlay? Oh, please. How much? Um I don't care. They they bug me, so take them. <laughs> there is no <laughs> Yes, all the villagers Squish Squish <laughs> All the villagers living in terror spawn cats here in my base. <laughs> I made you a path, Pearl. Oh, thank you, White Top. Let's go take a look. I'm excited. Ooh, this is pretty. Nice. So this area here. Oh, cool. Thank you. Yeah, that is that's gonna be awesome. It's gonna make it easy for anybody who wants to come in and get into the uh, community farms and or find whatever cats happen to be breeding it in here at now, the time. I left these blocks here because I don't know yeah. if how you want to do your entrance up here if you mm -hmm. more just want to just, you know, do something special up here and then the path can okay. just start right here. That's cool. Yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of something here, but I don't know what yet. So so that's okay, awesome. You should, run, you gotta creep. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you. No problem. Oh, that's going to be great. And this is looking, oh, this is looking so good. I'm I'm happy with how this is turning out. It looks awesome. Like I like oh. this. Oh yeah. Oh hey, look. 
Hey guys, there's another cat over here if you're looking for one. Oh, there's a black and white kitty. No, don't break the don't break the thing until it gets hearts. Yep. There. Now there it's we a go. cat. We've got a black and white one in here too if you're feeling uh uh there is a Gomez cat. Ha 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 Yes. Yar for parlay. Uh -huh. Thank you for the kitty. Oh dang it. Ah. Uh, oh. You better come. <laughs> The cats be sneaky. <laughs> ah, no, nah, this is good. It went over there. It went over there. Okay. Well, it's around somewhere. It's hanging out in the forest. It's a forest cat now. Yeah, it's right there. We'll get it. <laughs> Are you stuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, the black and white one is out hanging out by the birch trees and stuff. Hey, Carp, how's it going? Welcome in. Welcome in. Glad to have you here. Got to remember to mute in-game when talking to chat. This is an amazing tower. Oh, thank you. I also love the bamboos. Oh, yeah. It's a... Uh, I've never done this with bamboo. I've done it with other uh, trap doors before. But it's a nice little... Gives sort of that Japanese screen style. It does. It really does. I I should probably walk away from the trapdoors though. Have, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Those are my bridge. Oh, of course, yes. He he's he's definitely a pest about it. <laughs> yeah. Flapping's a trapping. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Got all sorts. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Nice. Yes. I I just keep getting cats spawning down here. Oh, here's it's the kitty. out. Not a fucking... <laughs> Find him. Cats spawning down here in the uh mm -hmm. in the guest parking, so Also, that torch probably does not need to be there. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, cool. This is going to take forever and a day to get finished, but. Nice. Ooh, all right. Let's see. I think, let's see if I can get, uh, for a, uh, before I call it a stream. Plan to remove some of the villagers. Yeah. Well, my, my impromptu cat farm is working just great, so get in on that action while you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually what I want to do is so I think I'm going to get some sweet berries from Snoopers and plant those with some moss carpet over them. That'll keep anything from walking into the base anyway. And yeah, so that's that'll be good. They don't have all the cat heads yet. Well, seriously camp out here in the in my base for a little while you'll start running into cats all right so let's see so down here I was looking at was about two blocks I just slap some some blocks in here to target those I'll take out in a minute but just some temp blocks all right Cool. Okay, there we go. That will work. And then I can come up here, get some glass in place, get some frog lights in place. You know, I made the mistake once. I, I built a castle with a throne room, and I did hidden lighting with carpet over frog lights. Which looks great, right? I mean, it looks fine when you do that. The problem is, frog lights are squishy, right? When you walk over them, they're all squishy. So it re really sounded like somebody had made a puddle in the throne room. <laughs> it was, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, I'm gonna finish the first floor. It's gonna. It's going to be done there, but no, let me finish the first floor, or at least the first floor entryway. Nice thing about people hanging out here is I'm getting plenty of bamboo. All right, 
bam. So that. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, at farm. I love a frog light farm. It's they're quick, they're easy. You get a heck of a lot of lights out of them. And Okay, I need to. And you know, hey, you know, if I'm gonna deal with uh needing lights, sure, I'll just I'll just put frog lights in. Why not? And then you step over them and say, like, ooh. Yeah, this this feels like uh, somebody's puppy was here a minute ago, and uh, so that's not where that goes. But you know, as long as you don't walk in that part of the build, it's it's fine. It's fine. Okay, and then right. Oh heck, I screwed this up. Okay, those frog lights are in the wrong place. All right, well, we'll try that. All right, so it's gonna go off that way. That's the ticket. And what are we, two blocks from that up there? Okay. Cool. All right, bring this in like this. This goes all the way down that way. This comes all the way down this way. All right, do I still have trouble? All right, and let's head up top and get some frog lights and things in place. Okay, so take those out. All right, get the frog lights in place, just like that. Okay, and other than that block being in the wrong place, you know, like like they do. Um. Yeah, sure. All right, you're a stone brick now. Enjoy. Okay, so let's see now. This is gonna come out that way, right? Yeah, because that sits right in front of the frog lights. Just like that. All right, actually, let's do this. Go ahead and do this. You're like, I should probably do that on the other side as well, but we'll do that in a minute. That in place, and now, not that glass, which I'm gonna need more of. I'm so close, <laughs> so close. I just need like six more. Ah, oh, this is going to be uh, this is going to be lovely. All right. Um, I had that armor trip somewhere. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, that's there. Glass. Right, I was glassing. Glassing. That's not where I left it. Yes, that's how that works. Yeah, I'm gonna need so much. Fortunately, the slabs are easy. Or the slabs, the for I know words, and I even use them correctly sometimes. All right. Okay, let's get the last of those pink panes in down here, and then I think we're gonna call it a stream, because this is, oh, this is good, yeah. And it is. It's a really nice effect. Maybe not so much when you put the panes in the wrong place, but... Yep, that is... That's going to be good. So... People come in this way. Yep. Fairly obvious now. Hey, this is, this is what's over here, right? Right, so if you're coming in from come down these stairs like oh I know what that is and uh, <laughs> help helps keep people oriented in the to uh, wherever it is they need to be oh man all right all right 
yeah, let's go ahead and pop these out too. Okay. That's going to come out there. That's going to go there. Just because, yeah, I think that's going to be a nice, a little bit nicer look on that. All right. And I could put the, the tuff here under the glass, but for now, I'm going to leave it stone. So I'm not entirely sure how that all is going to work, but. All right. Oh, this is, this is, <laughs> this is so good. That's going to take forever. <laughs> but, uh, oh, but it's going to take forever, and I'm going to need more glass. I definitely do not have enough. <laughs> man, oh, man. All right. All right, cool. Well, that, I think, is going to do it. Let's... Whew. Well, that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. I... I love it when things just, you, you try some things and then suddenly, boom, this is awesome. And I think that's what we ended up with today. I am really excited about it. Um, yeah, and thanks for hanging out, Thomas. I'm glad you're here. Edge also. Yeah, I like a good chill stream, so that's what I do. Um, I do, of course, want to point all of you at musicfreegaming.com. Uh it's your one-stop shop if you want to become a member, get some behind-the-scenes uh, stuff, blogs, Discord access, that type of thing. We've got private Discord channels for for members there. Um, you get merch, all that good stuff. So thank you all for hanging out. Next stream will be Thursday, 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. And this is Music Free Gaming signing off. <laughs>